Hi, my name is Brandon Pruitt. I'm the sales engineer here at Pasco Scientific. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate for you how to set up and use the E over M apparatus. So to start off, let's connect everything. We have both our power supplies right here. So first, we're going to start with the 6.3 volts alternating current. We're going to plug that into the filament input on the Helmholtz coil base. And we'll take the other one and do the exact same. Next, we're going to take the positive DC current. And we're going to connect it on this black terminal. Now we're doing it this way instead of on the red because on these Helmholtz coils there's an arrow, arrow here that denotes the direction of current flow. If wired such that you connect the uh, red input on the Helmholtz coil, the red output from the uh, power supply. But we want the current to go this way which will cause our magnetic field to be pushed in this direction. So we're going to plug the red one from here into the red one on this base. Then we're going to run a black jumper wire. It's also important to use these shrouded cables because we're dealing with high voltages here. We're going to connect the red here to the other red on the opposite end of the Helmholtz coil. And then we're going to take the black cable from our constant current and connect it to the last open port on the back side here, which will be the black input. After that, we will then collect, or connect rather, the accelerating voltage positive output into the accelerating voltage input here on the base. And then same thing with the black. Connect to the low potential. And then we need to add a jumper wire from the positive accelerating voltage to the upper deflector. And you'll notice here on our electron gun, there are two deflector plates, one on top, one on bottom. Connecting a positive voltage will pull electrons up. And we'll get to removing this here at the end. Now let's turn on both power supplies. And we're going to take a, just a couple minutes when doing this to let the filament heat up. Normally it would take about five minutes. I've already preheated this though, um, so it's ready to go. <clears throat> Make sure everything is set to zero or turned all the way counterclockwise prior to beginning your experiment. And now I'm going to turn off the lights so we can more clearly see the uh, electrons as we apply accelerating voltage. So we're going to slowly increase the accelerating voltage up to 190 volts. And as we're increasing this, when you're starting out, you should see a little cloud start to form at the bottom. And right now you can see a little tail coming out of the electron gun that's pointing sharply upwards because of the uh, deflector plate. Then once we reach about 150, 160, there we go. Now the beam goes relatively straight. So we'll set this to about 190. And now we're going to adjust the current through our Humboldt's coils. Now if this is wired correctly, both magnetic fields should be pointed out towards you, the viewer, or towards the camera here. And so we're going to slowly increase this. Actually, so as we're increasing this, you can kind of see the beam starting to bend upwards further and further and further. Right now we're at 60 or 70 milliamps. And we'll keep slowly turning this. Almost there. And just about complete. So at about 1 amp, um, we will see this circle. And you want to make sure it's aligned correctly, so uh, grasp the base uh, where the lamp is uh, connected, not the bulb itself, but the base, and rotate it. And you can see that as we rotate it, we'll get a spiral. This is because the um, electron gun is not perfectly perpendicular to the uh, magnetic field, so we'll get this spiral. And so you can adjust this so that 
it overlaps into a perfect circle. And once you have that, let me change the camera view here. Oh, now you can kind of see that ring on the left half of your screen. And what you'll do from here is you'll unplug that shunt we attached to the upper deflector. And if you look really closely, it'll shift a little bit. And then from here, you go in and adjust your voltages until you get a nice, crisp, readable line. And then once you're satisfied, using the uh, measuring stick that's attached to the Helmholtz coil, you will uh, align it at the center of the circle and measure the radius. And then from there, you can calculate and verify the uh, electron uh, charge mass ratio. Hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions, again, my name is Brandon Pruitt. I'm a sales engineer here at Pasco. Um, email me at bpruitt at pasco.com. Thank you.